Okay, everybody, welcome to Trail Hunter USA. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a video here of the mud hole that changed everything for me. As you can see, we just went by it, we backed up. Uh, we wanted to go down this trail anyway. We're at the land between the lakes. Uh, we were investigating trails, heading out to the lake, looking for campsites, and Decided to go through this one. I tried to keep one of my tires up on the side. I didn't have any lockers on or anything because we'd been through mud holes the whole day. Nothing was wrong. But as you see here, boop, it just sunk up right there. And there was nothing I could do <laughs> trying to turn the tires and move forward and backward. And then I tried to get it in the four low. And I, I don't know if it was just the chaos of the situation or what water's coming in, but... I couldn't get the electronic mechanism to get it in the four low, so um, I get out here in a minute to check everything out, and I finally get back in and uh, get it in four low and then put the lockers on. I didn't have, have the lockers on at, at that time, and uh, nothing seemed to work. We are hung, and I uh, learned a little lesson from this. Uh, before I get to something like this, I'm going to go ahead and get into four low i don't trust that uh, uh electronic system that they have for uh, the fords but anyway need to say i'm hung up here and apologize that there's no audio i'm filling in here but you're about to see the chaos that ensues uh and it's my wife from my wife's cell phone so i uh, hope you enjoy the rest of this clip <laughs> And why did it change everything for me? Well, after this incident, I was on 35s at the time, and I changed to 37s and lifted the Bronco more. <laughs> and my off-roading experience, I gained quite a bit from this ordeal, so that's how it changed everything. Oh, gosh! having trouble with the winch. Hopefully he gets it working here. I think we're taking on some water. Uh, what? Park? We need it in park! Should we be in park? Okay. We're taking on some water. My floorboard's full. <gasps> Tree fell down. Oh, oh my. <laughs> okay, started to winch and the tree fell down. need to pick it up over that log. My floorboard is very full.
there's the hole we were stuck in. Oh, you feel it? Yeah. Here, put everything. Oh, I don't want it. Smells nasty. <laughs> Hang on, don't sit. Get out. Don't let them get off. We don't need it any muddier. I mean, it come off. Oh, my hands are shaking so dang bad. Well, this is my first time to have to use the winch. I have to remember on this trail, not to go through here, there is a side trail I just now saw that we'll take going out. But, the Bronco was underwater. On the right side. So much so that the, I had to leave it running to keep uh, the exhaust, anything from going up in the exhaust. It was just bubbling in the back. Then I winced off to this tree. I thought it was going to be strong enough, but it wasn't. It was dead. So I had to take it up to hear the smitty built winch did well but anyway we're gonna get out of this mess yeah eric got to bust out the equipment got to use the winch not that we're excited we got stuff but hey i'm glad we got our money's worth out of the winch This was one good little hole. Bronco filled up with muddy water. It was quite interesting. But look, we could have went this path right here and went around it. But we didn't see that from the other side. And you know, when you're off-roading and you see water, what do you do? You go through it. <laughs>